Hey guys, so I am filming another one of these shade guides for the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I filmed the first one for the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, so if you'd like to check that one out, I will include a link to it. I changed the uh, name of this slightly. I think I called the first one What Shade Am I? Uh, just to make it a little bit clear that this is uh, kind of a universal video. It's not just to tell you what my shade is. So this is what the foundation looks like on the Sephora website. You can see it is one ounce. It is $44. And there are eight different shades here available. And this just happens to be the one uh, selected when I took the screenshot. But it tells you the shade name and then it kind of gives you an idea of the color and the undertones. And you can see that it has a dropper style uh, dispenser here. So these are those eight shades with all of the uh, color descriptions and undertones listed. Uh, so you can see that almost all of these just say neutral undertones. These two down here uh, say neutral or golden undertones. So this is somewhat helpful to give you an idea of what shade you might be, but it's not uh, perhaps the most exact or scientific method. So a better way of determining your shade is to use the Pantone Sephora system. And this is a color matching system that Sephora developed with Pantone. And you can see it has a variety of different uh, shade options available here. Uh, ranging from light to dark and uh, different undertones. And you'll note that it isn't a complete rectangle, so some of these possible shade combinations are missing. Uh, I guess they just determined that there weren't many people with those um, possible shade colorings. So this is that same chart, just uh, annotated a little bit. I've drawn a line here down the middle and that sort of indicates the most neutral uh, possible foundation. So the closer the shade is to the line, the more neutral it will be. The farther away on this side, it will be more warm toned or yellow. And the farther away on this side, it will be more cool toned or pink or red. And obviously the lighter shades are up here and the darker shades are towards the bottom. And as an example, I've called out uh, this shade here, which is 3Y04. And that means it is three from this uh, middle line. So on a scale from one to five, it is approximately uh, in the middle in terms of how yellow it is. And it is also um, four shades down from the top. So 3Y01 would be the lightest with that sort of tone and 3Y12 down here would be the darkest, so it's about a third the way. So at this point, I will insert some footage I took on the Sephora website to help you determine uh, what your shade is. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Color IQ tool on the Sephora website to identify your shade and to find uh, good product matches for that shade. So this is the Sephora homepage. And if you go up to the Makeup tab and then over to Color IQ Get Matched, this is the page that will kind of explain what the Color IQ system is, how it works, and how you can use it to find good product matches. So if you go to See the Shade Library, this is the same picture that I included in the PowerPoint. That's a little bit bigger, obviously, but uh, you can see it starts off with the lightest shades down up here, the darker shades down here, and then uh, the more golden or yellow toned over here, and the more red toned or cool toned on this side. Okay, so this is the device that they'll use in store to identify what your color IQ number is. They basically hold it up to your face in a few different locations, uh, take a picture somehow, and uh, identify what your number is. And then if you are matched in store, you can 
save the number to your profile so that you don't have to remember what that number is or uh, just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So this is where you can identify the concealers and foundations that match that specific uh, color IQ number. So I happen to know that my shade number is 1R03. So I put that in and it shows me all the products that are currently matched to that color IQ number. Uh, this isn't necessarily exhaustive of all the products that Sephora carries, but uh, to the extent they have been matched, uh, they will show up here. So for example, I know this Clinique Super Balanced Makeup Foundation, I was matched uh, at a Clinique counter. And I was matched to the color Breeze, so it shows me here uh, the color IQ icon and also says that Breeze is a skin tone match for 1R03. So back to this main page here. Uh, but say there's a product that you want to try that doesn't show up in this uh, array of products. So uh, you can try to go one shade lighter. So over here it'll show you one shade lighter and one shade darker to the shade that you put in. So the 1R aspect has the same relative level of coolness, but the last number indicates the, the lightness or darkness of the shade. So if I click on the 1R02, It'll show me the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So it shows me that Fair Neutral is a skin tone match for 1R02, so just slightly lighter than my actual skin tone. And for an under eye concealer uh, like this, uh, at least that's how I've been using it, I don't mind going one shade lighter. Let's say you don't want to go one shade lighter necessarily, uh, you can also try going one shade darker. And here for example the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation shows up, which I have been wanting to try but I haven't purchased. So that shows you that it is a skin tone match for 1R04. So that's great if you know your number, but if for some reason you're unable to get to a Sephora store, you can also go back to this page, and if you come all the way down here, uh, it'll allow you to identify what color you might be based on foundations that you already have that you feel are good color matches. So uh, it has a pretty good array of uh, brands here, and we'll just click on Clinique. See, it has all the different products in the Clinique lineup that they have matches for. So if I go to the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup, and I know I've been matched to the shade Breeze, I can click on that. It'll bring me back to this page with all the different uh, products that match that specific shade. So yeah, so that's the Sephora Pantone Color IQ system um, on the website. Alright, so these are those eight uh, Becca shades kind of overlaid on this grid. Uh, and you can see that a lot of these neutral shades are very close to the middle here. Uh, we have fair, light, beige, medium, and tan are slightly more yellow toned. Um, warm honey is back to being pretty neutral. And uh, surprisingly, the golden neutral slash golden undertone shades um, are on the cool side. So dark golden is actually three um, from this neutral line, and deep bronze uh, is pretty neutral but still uh, slightly cool toned. And I'll also note that if you are a shade like 1Y05, uh, you could conceivably take equal parts of fair and light, which are on uh, either side, and mix half and half and hopefully arrive at a shade 
that is approximately your color. Uh, the same with 1Y07, uh, which is about halfway between light and beige. And if you're some other shades, um, you won't have an exact match, but uh, if you were 1Y09, for example, you could either try the slightly lighter shade or the slightly more yellow toned shade. Uh, the same with 1R12 here, you could try the slightly more yellow toned or you could try the slightly darker. Uh, so that gives you some options or just some idea of how these shades work in relationship to each other. So here's that same chart just with those uh, shades noted here. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to see uh, similar videos from me in the future. Bye.